dear students uh, welcome to 10 film technology course uh, this is lecture number eight uh, in this lecture uh, we will again continuing with the vacuum technology but here uh, we will discuss uh, vacuum chambers I mean different parts of the uh, vacuum chamber that is some of them you can easily hear uh, you can uh, see them all here uh, I mean these are the different vacuums uh, chamber different part of the vacuum uh, chamber so let's start our discussions uh, with the vacuum chamber so uh, uh, we have main characteristic of a vacuum chamber I mean uh, some of the key characteristic of the vacuum chamber are listed as uh, below so what are them let's discuss them one by one uh, we have standard box chamber just like you can see it here I mean this is the standard box chamber uh, and it's come with a large entry doors I mean here you can see that it has large entry doors uh, and along with that uh, this kind of box structure box chamber uh, it has leaning and the functions of the leaning is to prevent depositions or out gazing product uh, sticking to the chamber walls uh, along with that it has a short cycle time I mean uh, it has short cycle, uh, cycle times and quick product turnaround I mean this is some of the key characteristic of the standard box chamber then we have a, a spherical chamber uh, I mean here you can uh, easily observe you can easily see it here and uh, this is the uh, this is the spherical chamber and this kind of chamber they are uh, more frequently chosen for high vacuums or ultra high vacuum applications uh, where uh, the central lines of many attached instrument across at a common point I mean here you can see that we have many uh, common points I mean it can be attached at the same time to multiple channels so this is why we are mentioning that at the central line many attached instrument across at a common point for gaze uh, laser electrons or ion beam interactions uh, with each other or with a sample uh, surface so this, this is why we have, uh, we have so many common points and this kind of the chamber so it's a short convenient access uh, to a point in space needed for thermal electrical or mechanical controls for heaters cooler signals uh, thermocouples uh, rotary and uh, linear moment uh, devices uh, uh, its operations are I mean so how one can uh, have access to this point so we remember that it is uh, very simple I mean uh, it has simple rotation aligns and the center mounted sample with a number of ports I mean you can have access to uh, the sample I mean it's lying in the central point so you can have access from uh, a number of uh, points I mean this is some of the key characteristic for uh, uh, this kind of chamber that we call spherical uh, spherical chamber then we have glass uh, built chamber I mean the picture is not here the picture is most likely on the other slide this is uh, I mean uh, this one is a glass built chamber so uh, what is it I mean the glass bell jars the, the, the glass bell jars can withstand thermal shock and chemical uh, attacks about its fragile I mean uh, what we have for the uh, glass bell jar I mean uh, the glass bell jar it can withstand I mean since it's been made from the glass so uh, it can withstand with the thermal shock and chemical attack but we remember it's a uh, it's a fragile uh, then we have a uh, direct load system I mean you can see it here it's a direct uh, load system so what is the characteristic of the direct load system the processing chamber is open to the ambient for loading or unloading the part I mean it's the key characteristic systems so load lock system uh, the processing chamber remain isolated from the ambient inline systems uh, what happened in the inline systems and in inline systems several load lock processing modules or in series so that the substrate uh, uh, passes sequentially uh, from one to the next process and then we have cast, uh, uh, cluster tool systems so what is the functions of the cluster tool system 
uh, it's basically a central introduction chamber and it is used so that the substrates may be moved and to a separate processing modules to load lock and transferring cooling uh, then we have a uh, roll roll quarter just like you can see here it's a roll quarters we can also call it as a web quarter uh, the system allows a coating of a flexible material that we can also call a web i mean it's, it's a flexible material so uh, i mean it's uh, uh, that's why we, we are called web and you know that web is also uh, very flexible so just because of that we also name this as uh, web quarters uh, so uh, the system allow coating up a flexible material that we call web in the form of roll that is coating up polymer and paper material etc i mean this is some of the key characteristics so air to air strip quarter uh, it's basically a continuous strip of materials passes end to and out of the deposition chamber through several uh, uh, differentially formed slide or uh, roller walls. So these are the different parts or different kinds of the chamber uh, that we have discussed. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, like uh, according to uh, the requirement of our course. So uh, here we have some uh, specials, uh, vacuum deposition chamber uh, uh, configurations. I mean, we have some of the configurations that are being most frequently utilized uh, whenever you're trying to work on a vacuum chamber. You want to deposit a thin film. So you might frequently encounter with these kind of samples. These are different samples. So you should know that what these uh, samples stand for. So let's have uh, a clear look at these samples and their real meaning and what actually uh, it means for. So first you have this sample. Whenever you see this sample, so be remember, it stands for isolation wall with transfer tooling. I mean, be remember, this kind of sample stand for isolation wall with transfer tooling. Then we have the uh, double-sided uh, arrow double headed arrow and it is basically indicate uh, motions of uh, texturing i mean this double headed arrow is basically a uh, sample for motions of uh, texturing then we have this sample uh, this sample this is basically for access door i mean whenever you see this sample so it's basically stand for the access door and if you see this kind of symbol, I mean you have a part of the chamber and you see this uh, uh, you see this particular symbol so it stands for direct load quarters. I mean this symbol uh, is basically stand for direct load quarter. I mean you can see it here uh, we have the load it's been uh, put here. So the symbol basically stand for direct load center. And if you see this kind of symbol so it stand for load lock quarter. But if you see uh, this kind of sample, so this kind of sample is basically for inline quarters. This is the sample for inline quarters. And if you see this a bit complex sample, so we remember is basically for cl uh, cluster tool. I mean, it represents the cluster tool. That's why it's a bit complex. Uh, you know that what cluster mean. So this is basically the cluster tool. Uh, and if you have this sample, so we remember this is basically the sample for uh, roll quarters uh, badge. And a similar sample, uh, slight different. I mean, if you see this sample, so this is basically uh, again, this is the roll quarter, but here it's been utilized from air to air. This one is basically for badge but this has been utilized for air to air that's why i mean they have the similarity but here we have a difference and the difference is uh, we have here differentially uh, formed a roller wall differentially formed roller wall i mean it's here so differentially uh, formed roller wall is the difference between uh, these two uh, symbol so that's all we have uh, for the vacuum uh, configuration or for the vacuum system Thanks for the watching. See you.
uh, and more lecture with more detail about the vacuum system. Till then, bye bye.